Hi, I'm Colin Hogan, Managing Director of Demo Duck, a video production agency in Chicago, Illinois. And today I'm joined by... Lauren Garcia from Viral Gains. So tell us a little bit about Viral Gains. Well, we're actually a video-based ad journey platform. What we do is we sit on top of existing, beautiful, glossy video inventory, and we help tee up brand messages to people in a very personalized way. So the audiences are actually gonna interact with the video in some way, and, and what do you do with that interaction? That allows us to not only optimize towards their sort of like personal signals, preference, if they like the brand, et cetera. And we can share that information back to the brand and then also help kind of sweep them intuitively down the purchase funnel by sharing more content that makes sense. We just make video. <laughs> One of the pieces we've seen was with a pet medication brand and they were testing different creatives. So they did three different videos and using the platform, we were able to surface insights and share back whichever was the most meaningful for the consumer. I'm gonna guess it was the funny one. Well, you'd actually be wrong. People are very sentimental about their pets and it really tugged at heartstrings. So we were able to share that back with them and then give them additional insights from an audience perspective to move forward with. Well, you have your old standbys like viewability, click through, just general engagement rates, which a lot of places would consider vanity metrics. We're trying to shift brands' attention away from sort of the old standbys of measurement and look towards stuff that's actually powering their business, like lift, like sales, like those sentiment-based um, signals. I just want to adjust my glasses. Were you rolling? I that's failed there. Whoops. I'm a simple man. My favorite viral video of all time is I believe it's San Diego, California, when the guy has the jetpack on, and it's a newscaster, and he says it starts right now, and then he goes immediately into the water. <laughs> Fox 5 Morning News starts, look over there. And it starts right now. Oh. Oh. I reference it two to three times a week. I watch it <laughs> once a week, and it is my favorite viral video of all time. I, I mean, I still, I still stand by Double Rainbow. Oh, that's a full rainbow all the way. I mean, it was just, it was magical in every sense of the word. Have you ever seen a double rainbow in real life? I have seen a double rainbow, Where although was it was it? outside of a Kroger, so oh. it was less spectacular than in, you know, Yellowstone. <laughs> <laughs> Data plays the lead role, if you will, uh, for our concepting phase. During our discovery process and throughout the creative brief, we have you know, several questions we like to ask around the data that they currently have on hand. We also do our own analysis within the industry or competitors to see what's resonating with their target audience. It also can help determine what video we even make for them. So is it a testimonial to help tell a little bit more about that company because people uh, need to know more about who they are or is it just, uh, you know, one and done explainer video because customers don't want to read all the copy on their homepage. <laughs> three things, or the three S's, if you will. I just made that up, but let's go with it. Um, first one is there has to be some scalability. If you're gonna make an entire suite of 10, 20 videos, especially if they're animated, you wanna think about how they can scale over time, because you may just start with five and they perform very well, and then you wanna make 10 and 20. I think another thing that we, we like to think about is um, strategy. No, it wasn't. I did have three S's earlier, too. Uh, scalable. Oh, I know it is, standalone. Because even though it's a series, you want every video within that series to work as a standalone video because you don't know how people are going to come across them. And the last one is they have to be stupendous or any other adjective that means cool and good. Uh, they just have to look good. Even though you're creating a series of videos, don't skimp on the quality. They can be simple, but they should still be high quality. Like this. It's really subtle branding that's happening here. He's doing it right now. Once again, I'm Colin from Demo Duck. I'd like to thank Lauren from Viral Gains for stopping by. Any parting wisdom for our viewers? There's no denying the power of sight, sound, and motion. So, you know, brands should just be embracing it and excited by what the future of video holds. People are yearning, so you keep on churning. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Sorry.